the fifth station, Jesus judged by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Wishing to satisfy the crowd. Pilate wasn't interested in bread, nor in those enigmatic declarations that he had so enraged the scribes with. He was after truth, and like all weak men, especially those with too much power, he wanted a truth that would set him free, free from responsibility, that is. So when he realised that he couldn't bargain with Jesus, he made friends of the crowd, and they, all too predictably, bade for blood in return, and that was, after all, the usual price. Did I say they? Did I pretend I wasn't in the crowd? Did I try to give the impression... I was standing on the edge, a mere observer. Don't believe it. I too love to run with a crowd and feel the exhilaration of a moral certainty that can crush another. I too love to count some in and rule others out. Of all people, I am most to be pitied. I cannot even muster up the courage to confess my sins, too proud to be forgiven. Why, I'd rather burn in hell than face the embarrassment of my actions. I'm just like Pilate. I don't want to be responsible. I don't want to have been forgiven. And even as I say this, as my shrinking heart becomes less willing to be touched by love, I cry out. Where can I find transfusion for my heart? Where can I find irrigation for my dried up soul? Where is the blood and water I crave? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you were condemned to death for political expediency. Be with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful. You were the victim of unbridled injustice. Change the minds and motivations of oppressors and exploiters to your way of peace. To you, Jesus, innocent though condemned, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.